Some of the most controversial things in Wizard World of One are the crowns reward events. Every now and then they'll do a, they'll do like a promotion where they have like a certain pack that's like out right now there are Halloween packs out and they'll attach a crowns reward event which basically incentivizes you to buy a bunch of packs and the idea is pretty simple you know basically the more crowns that you spend the more bonus rewards you actually just end up unlocking naturally and normally I wouldn't really be making a video on it because frankly it's not really forced on you to buy the crowns to buy the packs to get the crowns rewards right this is just for someone who happens to be spending a lot of crowns at this current point in time but frankly i think this one is way way worse than usual and i i had to make a video on this this is ridiculous first off for spending crowns you actually as as as, as a bonus you just get gear that you can currently buy from a bundle and the bundle is only 29 dollars anyway what blows my mind is that like even like let's say that you were to buy the bundle you would actually get more items like compared to the crowns rewards all the way up to 110,000 because this includes the mount the pet the wand all of that but it doesn't even include the house that you can get from the bundle so i see no reason why you wouldn't just buy the bundle now obviously the good counter argument to that from a marketing perspective is let's say someone had not bought the bundle and they had a reason to spend a lot of crowns and i'm gonna be honest these packs they're throwbacks i honestly might actually open up a couple because they have really cool stitches and a lot of these are like you know 299 crowns as well so you can actually buy more packs and get more stuff compared to the 399 like price that we're kind of used to i think the type of promotion that they're doing with packs that's not a problem at all and in fact if you're trying to incentivize people to buy them with a crowns reward event great but my issue is with the tactic that they're using in order to inflate the price of what's at the top which is the additional character slot i think even regardless of whether people actually end up spending a bunch of crowns in order to get this or not this still contributes pretty hard to the idea that like you know people are whales on wiz and that wiz exploits it and frankly yeah i think some people might put a lot of crowns into the game but i don't think that's the lifeblood of wizard on one like people make it out to be it's just stuff like this makes it look like that and by the way there are no other rewards on this that are like outside of a bundle other than literally a mega snack pack and like literally a hyper elixir for ninety thousand crowns of spending i think the octa world is like i don't know like a mount maybe or something from like another bundle so i guess at least they threw in another bundle but after that that's it like there really there is nothing creative about this crowns reward event and it just feels like it's like the it, it stretches the actual crowns amounts to the extreme that they don't need to be you could have easily made this like even like seventy-five thousand crowns instead of a hundred thousand and it would have not been controversial because at the end of the day what does an additional character slot represent it doesn't just represent money for king's isle if you actually get to this tier to get it it represents extra play time it represents you literally making another wizard and playing more that's already a win for wizard 101 so i don't see why they gotta make this so expensive as well i really hope that point is not understated too much in this video let's literally talk about what an additional character elixir does it makes you play the game more and i can guarantee to you the best indicator of whether you'll purchase more stuff on wiz is playtime. i guarantee it it's not hard for your mind to justify a purchase on a game that you spend extra hours on every day because you bought an elixir it's not hard so frankly i just think the 175,000 and crowns price tag i think uh, like a real critique of mine is that it actually gets the philosophy of how you make people purchase stuff on a game i think it gets a core part of that pretty wrong i think whenever they do put out like these halloween packs and stuff like that or just throwbacks like st stuff that people will buy a lot I think what they really need to consider is like the optics of what a crowns reward event looks like. I think for one, there should be more tiers between like a thousand crowns and like 15,000 crowns. I find it really hard to believe that there aren't more people spending below 15,000 crowns and participating in this compared to everyone that does more, right? There's just going to be more people. So why not add more tiers for people that spend less, but are still spending a good amount on packs like this. So adding more tiers and more, you know, even minor rewards, they don't have to be crazy. You're technically getting stuff for free by spending crowns. They don't have to be nuts. Even minor rewards, more of those, but below around like, you know, 10,000 crowns. I think that's a great idea because then it's like actually realistic for some people to spend crowns and, you know, open packs. They're like, okay, maybe I can open some packs, get some cool stuff and I'll go for this 5,000 crowns reward and get some three or four rewards on the way there. Like how different would that be compared to what this is? I think it would be crazy different. Additionally, I think they need to like, I don't know, like have like, 
like a unified vision on what the top of a crowns reward should look like they seem to not have decided on this i mean let's be honest this used to be horrific i think the top of this thing used to be a 700 dollars amount i think that's a number that everyone threw around so we're talking like 500 000 crowns plus so yeah they've gone down from that and i guess that's great because i think the outrage of that was like you know heard but after going down they've went back up again i don't remember the last crowns reward being this high i also don't remember the last crowds reward reusing every asset known to mankind so is this all just testing is it all experimental is this just to like you know suss out how players purchase stuff maybe but if you're really gonna do that i feel like this type of heavy swinging especially when it doesn't even feel like a real effort is being made to incentivize purchases through this event specifically i don't know it just it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth it just feels like i don't know it just feels a little insulting almost considering that the biggest block of crowns you can purchase in like you know in one like you know in one bundle i guess like on the website it's 80,000 crowns i don't really see why the crowns reward event goes past double that would it not make more sense to make it go slightly above it so that yes you buy the biggest block of crowns if you really want whatever's at the top of a crowns reward and then you buy just a few more like is that not what you want people to do i think going over double the eighty thousand just seems like weird to me i don't know and i feel like you're just missing out at that point i don't want to just take a hot steaming pile of dookie on this entire like you know whole like scenario because i do think there are some positives here the fact that bundle gear that probably you know is out of season is something that you might have access to is cool like it's cool that they're making like you know they're 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 making lemonade with lemons you feel but that's what they're doing and it's really cool to see a resurgence of packs that we just haven't seen in a while and you know for even a limited time it's gonna encourage people to buy it these are all good money moves i feel like you know why not like you know get complimentary bundle gear open up packs to the public that we haven't seen in a while it's just for a lot of players good good decisions like that get overshadowed by just literally this simple image right here hopefully we see more reasonable crowns reward events i guess if this is successful they have no reason to not i'm not gonna like be like if they're making money off of it to not i guess it doesn't matter at the end of the day it just feels like a lost opportunity that just gets people annoyed more than anything because of what it could be it could be a lot better maybe i'm the only one who feels this way i just saw this and I was like, you know, every time they do th do these events, like I do look at it. I was like, what am I watching, bro? Like, what, what? Like, I don't know. To me, I just felt annoyed. Maybe I'm wrong. If if you really disagree with me, I do want to hear your comment in the dis like, you know, in the comment section. Like, I'll read all of them. And if you agree with me, tell me why. Especially if it wasn't a reason I brought up in this video. What do you guys think of Crowns Award events and the way they've evolved over time as well? Am I just overreacting? Maybe. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a sub if you're new. And as always, if somebody hasn't told you're awesome today, they doing something. I'll see y'all soon. Stay awesome, y'all. And yeah, yeah.